Once upon a time, in the heart of the African savanna, there lived a young lion cub named Leo. Leo was not like the other lion cubs, he was smaller and shyer. He often felt left out when the other cubs played together, hunting imaginary prey and practicing their roars. Leo preferred to explore the wilderness on his own, observing the beauty of the African landscape. One sunny morning, as Leo was wandering through the tall grass, he heard a faint cry coming from a nearby thicket. Curiosity sparked within him, and he cautiously approached the source of the sound. Hidden among the leaves was a tiny, trembling gazelle fawn. Its large, doe-like eyes stared up at Leo with a mixture of fear and vulnerability. Leo's compassionate nature overcame his predator instincts, and he decided to help the little fawn. He gently nudged the fawn to its feet and guided it towards a nearby stream, ensuring it could drink and regain its strength. The fawn, whom Leo named Grace, was grateful and looked at Leo with newfound trust. Leo and Grace became fast friends. Leo protected Grace from other predators and showed her the best places to find food and water. They spent their days exploring the savanna together, learning about the different animals and plants that called it home. One day, as Leo and Grace were taking a nap under a giant baobab tree, they heard a commotion nearby. A group of hyenas was attacking a family of meerkats who were desperately trying to defend themselves. Without hesitation, Leo sprang into action, his roar echoing through the savanna. The hyenas scattered in fear, and the meerkats were saved. Word of Leo's bravery spread quickly through the animal kingdom, and animals from all over the savanna came to meet the courageous lion cub. Leo's once shy nature transformed as he became a symbol of hope and unity among the animals. However, not all creatures were impressed with Leo's newfound fame. The older lion cubs, who used to tease Leo for being different, grew jealous of his popularity. They challenged Leo to a roaring contest, hoping to prove themselves superior. But Leo had something the others lacked, a genuine, caring heart. His roar, though not the loudest, was filled with kindness and empathy, which resonated deeply with the other animals. As time passed, Leo's circle of friends grew larger. He helped a lost elephant calf find its family, assisted a clumsy ostrich chick in learning to run, and even provided shelter for a group of lost zebras during a sudden storm. Leo's small size had become a symbol of his big heart, and the animals of the savanna looked up to him. One day, a wise old lion approached Leo and said, You may be small in size. Leo, but you have a heart as vast as the African plains. Your kindness and bravery have brought harmony to our home. You are a true leader. Leo, now a young lion, felt a sense of fulfillment he had never known before. He realized that it was okay to be different and that his uniqueness had allowed him to make a difference in the lives of others. And so, the small and once shy lion cub, Leo, grew into a symbol of compassion and unity in the African savanna. His story reminded everyone that it's not the size or strength that matters most, but the kindness and courage that reside in one's heart. The adventures of Leo and his friends continued as they worked together to ensure that the savanna remained a place where all animals could live in peace and harmony. <laughs>